Hi guys, hope you're good. Long time no see. If you've missed me, we've moved from the UK to America. America? Nearly. We've moved to Australia. And it's like America, I won't lie. When people consider Australia being part of the Commonwealth and being part of, like, the United Kingdom's heritage, when you get here, it's not. Australia, to me, feels more like Texas than it does the UK. Everyone drives these things. And tell you, these things are awful. All the builders have them. And it seems to be the thing to get you. A lot of them pull trailers, but my works give me this one. And as you can see, I've been stocking up, getting all my tools. But look at the state at the back of that. Where are you supposed to put your tools? They've bought me this metal box here. And fair enough, it's filled, I filled it up with all these tools. But what, what do you do with the other stuff? Your spirit levels, where are they supposed to go? <sighs> Australia. Get vans. Anyway, let's get back to the subject. Carpenter moved from the UK to Australia. What's it like? Well, I thought having to have all my qualifications transferred over and in Australia the qualification to become a carpenter takes four years apparently. In the UK you become a carpenter and joiner in three years and you're qualified in uh, installing kitchens, making cabinets, making furniture. You, you, you're trained up on absolutely everything. In Australia you're trained up to be a carpenter and that's it. And I've found out now I'm kind of struggling with my trade because back in the UK, I was a general builder and there's no licenses kind of thing. So in a way, you do get a lot of cowboys, uh, people that just pick up the tools and go, right, I'm going to be a builder today. And off they pop and they start making a mess of things and wrecking people's houses. But it's also good because good builders can just crack on without having to jump through silly hoops. Now I'm in Australia, I'm finding these hoops are everywhere. So I've got my carpenters transferred over, my carpentry qualification. Now carpentry, it qualifies you to do stud works, building walls, that kind of thing, because they're all timber, installing, uh, flooring, like your laminate flooring, that kind of thing, metal roofing. Um, but you can't do kitchens, which is very strange to me because kitchens are part of being a carpenter. Well, I know it comes under cabinet making, but Carpenters do that work in the UK. It's like all in one. And in Australia, they kind of segmented every single trade and split them all up. So, like it says, I can do uh, I can do metal roofing. Well, isn't that a roofer's job? I wouldn't like to do the, the metal roofing. I'll leave that to a roofer. So back in the UK, you'll you'll get a tradesman who'll be a carpenter and they'll go in. They'll put all the trusses in and all the uh, timber for the roof to go on. Uh, they might even sheet it with the breathable membrane, put the roof battens on, and then that's it, they leave it, then the tiler will come and he'll tile it. Over here, I'm not sure what you do, because um, the roofers do come and do the tin roofs, but the same carpenters can do it. But carpentry stuff like installing the kitchen, I can't do it. So I'm having to do a course now to be a cabinet maker, which I can transfer my skills over, because I've got that as well. But it's just more hoops and hurdles to jump into, and the courses aren't cheap. So to get me a cabinet maker's license, because I'm a permanent resident now uh, in Queensland, you can get it subsidised by the government, so they'll subsidise it. So the actual course is going to cost me, I think they said, I think they said $800, which isn't bad in the UK. It's about 400, 460 pounds, something like that. But it's just a pain in the ass. You know, when you've got a certificate in the UK that says, yeah, you can do that, and it's a genuine certificate, um, and then you've got your licenses. Each each thing is split up into licenses. So I tried to get my carpenter's license, which I can do now. I can apply for it. That's seven hundred dollars. And then if I want another license, like my cabinet maker's license, that's going to be extra on top of that. Um, and then to actually build a house. So get this. I don't understand it. It's quite mind boggling. The houses are all generally timber construction. So the floors are timber. The walls are timber. The roofs are timber. Carpenter can do the metal stud roofing. We can install the, um, what did it say, the panelling. So obviously we can do plasterboarding. So basically, oh, we can do the shuttering. Uh, I think it says farm work, a bit of concreting as well. So basically we can build the whole house as a carpenter. But if I want to build a house for somebody, then I need a builder's license, which is either low rise, which is like these houses, what we're in now. Uh, like a bungalow we call it in the UK but over here all the houses like that then medium rise is like a two-story house and then high rise which I've got no interest in getting into I just want the medium rise so I can do 
the, the low rise and the medium rise gent building houses. So the carpenter does all of that work, but to do that, you need to have that license and you can't get that license without a diploma, or is it certificate four, I get mixed up, there's that many things. And I need to um, get a, go and do another course. That course is $30,000, which I can get that subsidized, but I've got to pay something like 1,500. So the hoops that they're making you jump through in Australia to build is insane. And you've got people now that are just going out and doing the work and people are just paying them. They just want the work doing because they can't get the trades. You can't get tradesmen here for love and money. Um, I just quoted a job the other day. The guy said, yeah, I'm just waiting on a few more to come back and quote. And he's got back in touch with me. He said, I can't even get him to come and quote. He said, thanks for quoting. So I've just been around and dropped all the gear off. So I'm going to do that in the evenings. Um, it's just insane. So if anyone's thinking of moving to Australia and they're going to be in construction, I wouldn't worry because it's the work's there for you. There's loads of work. The problem is getting the uh, actual certifications that the government will let you do it. Um, it's kind of bananas. So anyway, I'm all set up. If anyone's uh, thinking of moving over, you'll enjoy it. The weather's fantastic. We've been out with friends and they took us out on the beaches. We've just bought ourselves um, a pickup truck. They're all right for slagging off. And I said, oh, I can understand why builders have got them. If you're working for yourself, because you get one, you get the trailer, you throw your tools in the trailer, and then at weekend you unhook it and you go on the beach off the road and all that kind of stuff. But ours is a kind of like a nice one because the missus is using it for work. So it's not going to get hammered going on the beach as much. We took it the other week, but I don't think we're going to be smashing off road and putting it to its, testing it to its limits. But yeah, uh, we're really loving being out here. Uh, everyone's friendly. Uh, the, the rates are good the average rate is between 35 to 65 dollars an hour 65 people are cl claiming they can get more but i think they're just pushing it really i mean if you're going out and you're doing a small patch obviously you're gonna have to call out charge it's gonna be more expensive than being there all day for someone but um people are charging roughly between like 65 dollars 65 dollars is a good going rate if you're working for someone on a long job um and then if you're working for someone employed, you're looking between 35 to $50, and that way you get your holiday pay, your sick pay. So there are some good jobs, and they're crying out for people. I mean, I've spoken to businesses and said, look, we're not bothered about your qualifications. If you can do the work, come and work for us, because we, we pass you off anyway. As long as the work's to a good standard, we can pass it off under our licensing. So another insane thing about the licensing, why it doesn't work, because... There's, there's people out there that aren't qualified doing the work for people that have got a license. What was that? I'm one of those super spiders. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to jump on and say hello. Um, I'm going to be showing you around some places and showing you what the workmanship's like because it's not the best, I won't lie. Um, everyone I've spoke to said, Pre prepare yourself. The workmanship's not, not as good as it is in the UK, but everything... People in Australia, they're like Australian made, Australian made. And some of the stuff you look at and going, it's rubbish, but it's Australian made. So it's, um, I'm trying to get hold of some stuff. Uh, I'll give you an example, like roll plugs. Um, I can't find them here. So the only things that they have got are these things. And they're really rubbish. They're like, these are like what my granddad used to use. There's, there's no anchors on them or bits that stick out you know to stick into the concrete or whatever you're banging it into it's just a plastic sheath so they're like the old old uh, old i call them raw plugs anyway that, that's the brand they're all just like basic plugs and um they're not cheap either everything's expensive like a box of screws can be hundred dollars like 50 pound 60 pound for a box of screws you're paying six seven pound for that in the uk so everything here is very expensive and um hopefully it'll start coming down because everything Covid got the blame for everything. It's drove everything through the roof, but hopefully it'll start coming down. House prices start coming down. We can get on the ladder then. But yeah, uh, we're enjoying it. Um, I'm going to get some videos out anyway to show you what it's like to work in Australia. Show you the workmanship uh, and show you all the tools that I've bought. So thanks for watching. If you've not subscribed, please go and hit the subscribe button now. And we're going to get some videos out and I'll show you what life is like in Australia for a British carpenter. Thanks for watching, guys.